Andhra Pradesh, Sri Chandrababu Nairu Garu. Thank you, sir, for being with us today. We very much appreciate it, despite, despite the... Huh? Are you able to hear us, sir? I am able to hear you. Yeah. So I appreciate, sir, for your taking the time to join us. Though, although we know it's a, uh, it's it's been a little lo logistically difficult uh, today for you, but we do appreciate it, and uh, uh, it's nice that you are here. Uh, we would, of course, have liked you to be here. Uh, you wanted to be here physically with us, but I know you you just returned from Delhi, so it's not possible for you to be here every day. But we will we will come and visit you at the, at the state at at some time along with our members. But today, just as a brief interaction for about uh, 30 minutes, we very much appreciate that you are here. And once again, thank you, sir, for being with us. And uh, may I, uh, so maybe you would like to uh, address the, the National Council here. We have about 80 chief executives in this hall. And then we could have uh, some time for uh, members to uh, uh, make some comments or uh, suggestions or questions for you, if that's okay with you, sir. Yeah, yeah. I will be very happy. Oh, Respected Sanjay Puriji, President CI, Respected R. Mukundan, Vice President CI, Director General CI, Respected Sindhajit Benerji, Members of the CI National Council, and friends, I am very happy to discuss with you, all of you. Fourth time I became Chief Minister now. I had a wonderful experience with you all from the beginning. I recall some of you associated with me when I was CM in 1995, first time. At that time, CIA also small body. No politician <laughs> used to support uh, CIA at that time. Now we were a uh, big body. Global, globally you are able to influence. At that time, no takers also. Nobody understood the business as such. Then I, I wanted to associate with you for promo promotion of industry. I recall very well, every year we had CA conference in Hyderabad. Even I didn't have infrastructure also at that time. By taking one hotel and temporary sheds, all these things, that is where we started. Today, country is moving very fast. And also, I really appreciate all of you, CA and some other organization this country has played a vital role. I really appreciate all of you. And also, country is moving very fast. I want to spend more time on question and answers. You are all aware today, India is having some advantages. In some of the areas, first more advantage, that is technology. When we started, one is first of, first of all, we have to recollect. First move, right time, economic reforms, 1991. From then onwards, license raj has gone. Growth has taken place. Competitive world has emerged. We are able to compete with others. From then onwards, 95 has, I'm very clear, I'm recollecting. First time IT we started. I thought IT is the right way to move forward. One is IT will bring transparency, accountability, speediness, and also future. Knowledge economy, IT is the back, backbone. That is how we promote it. Now, service sector we are doing extremely well. Even industry also had to work in that direction. I was one person continuously visiting Davos. Oh. 
Nine times I visited Davos. More than seven times, eight times I had a CIA conference in Andhra Pradesh, that is a combined Andhra Pradesh, and also after division, Navya Andhra Pradesh also had a two, three conferences. Today, ease of doing business also we are number one. For the last five years, we are number one. Even growth rate, if you see when I was CM, CAGR 13.5%. I always compare myself with industry's benchmark. You are doing growth rate, you are having high ambitions, why can't we? That is how we used to work in a big way. I am requesting all of you, now Honorable PM is working, 2047 Vikasit Bharat. And also Andhra Pradesh is working to match with that vision, Vikasit Andhra Pradesh. As on today, we are the fifth largest economy. Very soon, by 2027, we are going to become third largest economy. But all of us will work together. We will make India second largest economy or number one economy by 2047. It is possible. We are having an advantage, demogra demographic dividend. Technology, we are doing extremely well. And demographic dividend as a windfall is nobody expected. It has come. Globally, all other countries are suffering because of aging pop problem. Only the, only the country, another 20, 25 years, will have an advantage. If you can manage in such a way, population management, demographic management, we will enjoy this type of advantage even centuries together. What we are laying foundation today, it is going to help us nation a big way. You are all watching today. All over the world, Indians are doing extremely well in service sector or other fields also, both public governance and also private governance, corporate governance. Reason is, all over the world, people are trusting Indians. There is a very good trust factor. And also, we are, our people are adjust, adjusting with anybody anywhere in the world. That is also another advantage. By default, Indians are going to become number one community globally in terms of wealth creation and also service sector or servicing the, serve the global community.